and I work with the Respect for All project at YWCA, and I'd like to share some tips on what to look for in a boyfriend or girlfriend and how you can have a healthy relationship. The most important thing to have in a healthy relationship is respect. Everyone deserves to be respected and shouldn't settle for someone who does not respect them. This means listening to what you have to say, never pinning you down, and never pressuring you. For example, last night I had a friend of mine called me, she told me about her boyfriend and how he broke up with her and he was yelling at her for leaving with her dad and not spending time with him. So I told her that it's probably for the best that they broke up because he didn't respect her. A boyfriend or girlfriend should also understand that you need to spend time with your friends and family and they shouldn't get angry when you do spend time with them. Something that I see happen a lot is that couples don't always communicate well and this leads to unnecessary problems so you should feel comfortable with communicating your feelings and ideas with your boyfriend or girlfriend. And finally, you should have things in common with your boyfriend or girlfriend. This means being able to have fun with them. If you find that you don't share any interests such as music, sports, or movies, then it probably won't last long. Hi, my name is Esmeralda Bargan and I'm with the YWCA San Gabriel Valley League. I'm working with the Respect for All project which is aimed at preventing bullying in youth and teen dating violence. Many teens aren't aware of the warning signs of abuse in relationships, so they stay with their boyfriends or girlfriends, thinking that everything is fine. One of the red flags is when they constantly check your cell phone and email without your permission. Most girls or guys think that this is cute because they believe that their girlfriend or boyfriend are being protective and caring. However, this is a bad thing because really, they just want to control their girlfriends or boyfriends' lives. They want to always know where they are, who they're with, and what they're doing. This invasion of privacy isn't cute, it's abuse. Another red flag for teen dating violence is when your partner wants to change the way you dress. They can either make you cover up by wearing clothes that are not so revealing and doesn't show too much skin, or they might want to parade you around to others by making you wear clothes that are very revealing. This possessiveness over your war wardrobe choices gives them the power to control your life. If you feel that this is something that may be happening to you or you'd like to learn more about this topic, you can reach a peer advocate at 1-866-331-9474 or go to www.loveisrespect.org.